Today I will be showing you how to prepare your Android device for acquisition. There are a few steps that you will need to take to get your Android ready for acquisition. So go ahead and unlock that phone. We're going to go down to Apps, Settings, and we are going to scroll to Lock and Security. And in here we need to enable unknown sources. So click on and then OK. We're going to exit out of that. Now we need to get it into developer mode for USB debugging. If you don't see developer mode down here, we will need to enable that for you. We go to about device and then you're going to find the build number. Build number. We're going to tap on this seven times to enable developer mode. Developer mode has now been turned on. We're just going to go back. And now you can see developer options. We're going to click on that. We're going to turn that on. Click OK. And then we also need to turn on USB debugging. Now we're going to go into E3 and show you how to start acquiring the phone. Now that the Android has been configured for connection to the computer, there's a few things we need to verify. You need to make sure that the device is fully charged. You choose the proper cable or cradle for your device. We recommend the manufacturer's cable. Check that the drivers for the USB connection are installed and define the connection properties if necessary. Additionally, some devices may require a SIM card to be inserted to perform an acquisition. If this is the case, make sure the SIM card is inserted prior to acquisition. To verify that the correct drivers are installed on your machine, um, for lower level windows, I'm just going to pull this bad boy right on over. This is your My Computer. You're going to right click on that. You're going to go to Manage. And then within this computer management, you're going to go to Device Manager. Another way to get to that on, for instance, a Windows 10 machine is to right click on your Start button or Flag and go to Device Manager. It opens up the same thing. Within Device Manager, we're going to go ahead and just go to Portable Devices. We see currently I have a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus plugged in, which means my driver is properly lo loaded. If not, you will see um, basically it's like a caution and you need to install the proper drivers. You just right click on that, go to Properties and then drivers and update drivers, uh, find the proper driver for your device. And then Windows should be able to see the phone. After you've verified the proper driver is installed, we're going to verify on the phone itself that it is in MTP mode, Media Transfer Protocol mode. This is important for the acquisition so you can get pictures, etc., out of the device. So we're going to go to the device now. Now we're back at our device. We're just going to go ahead and scroll down. As you can see, connected as a media device, touch for other USB options. We're going to go ahead and touch that. Now we've verified that our device is in MTP mode and not camera mode. We are now going to start up E3. So go ahead and double click on your E3 icon and get the program loaded. E3 is now fully loaded. You can always go ahead and click on Acquire Device right here. Personally, I like to go to Create Case, Create a New Case, and then use the Start Acquisition button. It all does the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and Acquire Device. The Acquisition Wizard will open, and you will see your device. Click on your device and you have options to do a full logical, a physical, or a custom logical acquisition. The custom logical acquisition gives you the options that you would like to choose. You can select all, clear all, only do whatever you deem appropriate for your acquisition. We're going to go back and we are going to do a full logical acquisition. Uh, instructions on how to unlock the file system, remove the password protection, 
Um, we just went over these instructions uh, with the video, so if you need a good refresher, here it is for you. Also, if your device isn't being on the screen, it's not appearing, you can click here to view the troubleshooting instructions if it's not detected. You can go to what flavor of device you're going to do. For instance, if you're having issues with an Android Logical, here are step-by-step -step ways for you to, again, get that connection so that computer recognizes it, therefore E3 will recognize it. We're going to go back home. If you choose to do a manual plugin, you can click on those. For instance, Android, um, the LG, we have LG, we have Samsung bootloaders, word of advice only use this for the specified bootloader model. If you do not have that model, do not use this. And we're just going to go back home. And we're going to click on our Android device. We're going to do a full logical. We're going to start the acquisition. The system will prompt you to allow USDB USB de debugging on the phone. Go ahead on the phone and select OK. If you do not do that, your acquisition will fail. So we're going to try this once again and I will show you on the phone what you have to do. We're going to go ahead and click finish. It's going to fail. So we're just going to open this up, remove this evidence real fast, and we're going to start our acquisition. Give it a moment start our acquisition. The acquisition wizard will appear again. We're going to go ahead and click on Android and go through this process quickly. And we're going to click start acquisition. And we're going to go ahead and allow USD, USB debugging. And we're going to click the box, always allow this computer, and click OK. We're going to verify that back on E3. Interesting little tidbit. My device has rebooted. And it is going to probably reboot up to three times to try and get root. Just wanted you guys to know that is a possibility. If you cannot get root, then it will do a full backup for you. Wanted to throw that, that out there for you. Because my device was unable to get root, it's going to go ahead and ask me to do a backup of the device. If you just click on backup my data without a password, it will start the acquisition and I'll show you that screen on E3. As you can see, E3 is starting to perform a full backup of the device, and it will go through this entire process. That is how you set up your device to be acquired and get it rolling on the mobile acquisition side within E3. This will conclude our training for this. I I do want to show you, if you guys have any questions or need a little assistance, our help file, if you go to Case Help, the Electronic Evidence Examiner Help and the How To are extremely valuable resources with screenshots and step-by-steps on how to walk you through different acquisition processes. Thank you and good luck with E3.